with Tammy Beaumont after a century against uh, Surrey Ladies there. A defeat and a win, and it, it looks like potentially Sussex have pipped you on the net run rate. What's, what's your overall thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, um, the way we came back in the second game after losing quite heavily to Notts, I mean, we can be really proud of that. Uh, all the girls played a really good part in that game. Um, yes, yeah, it's gutting to kind of know that we did everything that we could in that second game um, to kind of give us a chance of getting the top spot. But yeah, so it's really like heartbreaking and a bit gutting to hear we've lost just on net run rate. Yeah, and overall the season, it's been, it's been quite a challenge, hasn't it, with the England players missing? Yeah, I mean, so at times we've had like five players missing for one round of the T20 and we've obviously missing three of our uh, top order here. So the fact that we've still come really close to clinching the title has been really awesome and shows a lot of strength and depth in our, in our squad. And the captaincy, how have you enjoyed that in the absence of Charlotte? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I think she'll be demanding it back, but um, no, it's been really, really good fun to, um, you know, have to lead the team out and something I've always wanted to do as a, as a youngster growing up playing for Kent. And a bit about women's cricket, obviously it's massively been in the spotlight this summer with the Ashes and there's a lot of talk about, obviously, how England performed and the Ashes overall. It's still alive, obviously, with the T20s to go. Uh, do, do you think that it, it's with the Ashes, women's cricket still in a decent situation with, with everything that's gone on? Yeah, definitely. I think the England girls have definitely got a chance of still winning. T20 has been our best format over the last sort of 18 months, so we've definitely still got a chance of um, keeping the Ashes. Um, I, you know, not ideal to lose the Test match, um, but you know, Australia credit to them played really well and they did outplay us. But we we know our girls will come back strong. And yourself today, a century and a, a sparky 20 odd in the, in the first game. Are you happy with your form coming in at the end of the summer there, making some runs in front of the uh, <laughs> few selectors in the crowd perhaps? Yeah, I was actually saying before I went out in the second game to one of the girls, I feel like I've got a lot of pretty 30s, 40s this year and like haven't, have kind of been missing the big score. So to actually um, you know, finish off the T20 season with 100 is really pleasing for me personally. Like, um, Yeah, really happy with how I, how I hit them today and how I have been all season just played a few silly shots and got out and sort of, you know, a good good start but not gone on. And plenty still to play for. We obviously two back-to-back -back, uh, county championship games at the end of the month. How big are they and, 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 and what kind of team do you think you'll be able to face? Will you be getting any England players back, do you think? Oh, I don't know if we'll be getting the England players back. I think it's the week of the, the international T20s. But, um, yeah, we've got two big games. We're still unbeaten in the 50-over comp at the minute. So if we can put in a couple of good performances there, then we'll still retain that title. And I think that's the really big one that we want. Um, so, yeah, but, I mean, I think we'll be OK, even if the England players aren't, aren't there. I think, um, you know, we've got, like we said, we've got a good strength and depth. And if we can put in a good performance with the bat and the ball, I think we'll be fine.